guys welcome back to my channel how's everyone doing tonight i hope you're doing well so it's springtime my favorite favorite season of the year and it's time to switch it out switch it up 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 and switch it up and switch it up yeah it's time to bring out all your summer dresses your spring dresses and of course your hair and today I've got this beautiful coily. I love coily hair. I think coily hair suits me the best, to be honest. So I have tons of them. But this one is new and it's from Bill Fox. It's called Bill Fox. Bill Fox. 100% human hair. 100% human hair. And this is a wig they sent me. It's so light. You would not believe initially i was like oh my god for the price of this hair is it gonna be nice then i got it i'm like okay so i spent a lot of money buying hair because i like to look good i'm not blessed with natural hair that is long so i gotta help myself you know what i mean <laughs> if you're on this whatsapp group yeah you like your wigs you like your weave and you like to switch it up bill fox is the hair you want to go and get it's really really affordable most of their wigs are less than a hundred dollars you would not believe it it's so soft 100 human hair i'm feeling it if you follow me on instagram i'm going to be posting some pictures there so you see it this hair is absolutely lush let me turn my back so you can see you can see how lovely lovely it is it's gorgeous really really nice i love it yeah beautiful it's beautiful. Yeah. Bill Fox is where you want to go to to get 100% human hair for very, very affordable prices. Yeah. Bill Fox. Thank you for this week. I am loving it. Beautiful, beautiful. So check my description under this video for all information about this wonderful wig. They've got all sorts of wig, different colors. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and get another one colored. Because I like a bit of color. Uh, because now that I see that their products are really, really good. I was, you know, initially I was like, no, for the price, it's not going to be good. But it is it is beautiful. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. Go get yours. today i want to talk to you guys about men all right so we do a lot of relationship you know topics on this channel and we also support a lot of people who are survivors of dv on this platform and i realized that it is really really difficult for a lot of men to come forward to speak right i mean on the majority in our community i see that you know women are mostly survivors or victim of dv but some men also experience some sort of dv so that's all i want to talk about today when men are going through dv any kind of dv be it emotional you know physical who do they talk to who do they talk to because you know african men nigerian men especially uh they have really really huge egos and um their ego do not allow them does not allow them to speak out because um they 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 don't want to feel like they are not being manly enough. They are not man enough. They don't want someone to say, oh, you're a man. You're not supposed to speak. You're supposed to keep quiet, you know? And um, recently, there was this uh, very popular uh, case in, on social media. Uh, I think I was just about the only uh, content creator on this YouTube that didn't say anything about it. And the reason why I didn't say anything about it, frankly, is because I didn't know much about it. You know, I didn't know the couple before the matter happened so uh, and i didn't take the time to look into it thereafter because we're busy saving the world that was the when the issue of joy and chinedu came up his name is justin and the wife is a nigerian 
and Justin is an Oibo man and the wife Cora is a Nigerian uh, woman who just had a baby and you know it's like they yeah, start having problems in their marriage now I've, I've read a lot of comments about this couple um, apparently it was the man Justin who came out and you know crowd out saying that um, uh, he couldn't do the marriage anymore there's some cheating going on the wife cheated on him you know she you know things are really really tough but interestingly what I found very very interesting if I can call it that for you know the lack of a better word is that it was when she had a baby like literally some few days after she had a baby that you know this man spoke out now I'm not saying that there is a time when people should speak out or that people shouldn't express themselves but for me I find it uh, really really you know a little bit concerning that um, your wife just had a baby and that's when you chose to speak out it's not like the issues are I mean are new or that you you've not been having these issues before because I know what it means for a woman to just have a baby she came out on social media and she was cheering crying and saying that people should please be compassionate because they were bashing her a lot saying that you know she cheated and all that okay so i don't really understand the dynamics of their relationship i have not followed them before so i am i can't comment on you know the sort of relationship they have the thing about social media marriages all this iteration couple or people who put all their business out there is that you never really know what goes on when your marriage and your relationship everything about it is on social media for food display you know and you are monetizing it you never really know what's going on behind closed doors and that's why some people struggle when things go wrong because people always project you know the best bit of their relationship and we all know that no relationship is perfect so i'm sure the people that have been following them will tell you that yeah, they were the id couple because I, I i i saw the lady was saying cora was saying oh i'm sorry if i projected this uh, id interracial couple to you you know yeah people do that it's social media you have to market yourself so you're not going to show when you and your husband are you know fighting cussing each other out and you know having a disagreement you show when you are going on holidays when you're having the best time of your life when things are good so you'll be doing lovey dovey for your followers because you want them to eat it up but that's not to say that he uh, that he's wrong to speak out it's not to say he's wrong to speak out because he was talking about a lot of things about mental health he's tried to make the marriage work i mean it's all very muddy for me. Then he came out again and said, oh, some of the things he said are not 100% true. Uh, she cheated once. No, she's not. It's not a, a continuous thing. I don't know what this man is saying, to be honest. So for that one, I'm just going to leave it aside because these people, you never know the truth or the real, you know, you never know they are real. You, they are not real, you know, they're not real. But I've had a gentleman who reached out to me recently and I was actually looking forward to seeing if he can actually come to the platform but he didn't come back to me and he said to me that you know he's a victim basically ordered by the police to leave his house and it was actually their family friends that first that, that initially brought this to my attention because they felt like he's the injustice that is done to him is too much okay so they are saying that this guy married this woman they are nigerians okay and she's a high maintenance woman let me put it like that high maintenance and basically this man had you know worked all these years breaking his back to give her this lifestyle when i finished talking to him and you know listening to their to their friends and these are you know family friends to both the man and the woman and so i would think they have a clearer picture without you know being too biased what i saw in that relationship was that she the, the woman didn't seem to really like him that much she only married him because he could provide the lifestyle that she wanted so she wants a first class lifestyle where they will go on holidays family holidays twice a year private school and private schools in the uk are expensive really really expensive private school for the kids and you know posh lifestyle buying designers and all that and the interesting thing about this couple is that I learned that she was initially working when they got married, but since they started having kids, she has not worked. So the outgoing of this couple is about six thousand pounds every month, and he pays it all. Hey, 
six thousand pounds a month monthly they say wow that's a lot and i tell you it's not a lot of men that will be able to cope with that mortgage you know all the utility bills everything six thousand pounds every month every single month so he has a good job he's earning well and apparently this gentleman has been doing everything within his power to maintain this lifestyle this posh lifestyle that his wife has huh. my people you lose them the same way you get them i'm telling you i'm like wow all these years and you know he tells me that their mortgage is almost paid off. They have maybe like less than five years to go on their mortgage. Things are good, but she just switched up like maybe she was not happy about something. Maybe the house they live is too small or some some something like that. They start having misunderstanding, no kerewa for years. And this man has just basically been slaving to maintain this lifestyle, you know, to keep the woman, you know, in this lifestyle. Because remember I told you that she has high maintenance. And these are church people Mm. all these church mar marriages that you will see and you think and that's why sometimes when you meet people in the church and this happens for, for both men and women it doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to be the best person meeting a sister in church doesn't mean that she's born again some people will start going to church because they want husband so all of a sudden they will join department and be doing holier than thou mm? when you finish marrying them they will bring out the real you know their real self and some brothers do that as well they are in church but they are not really renewed in their mind they are still abusers so what happened they start having misunderstanding the man tells me that you know she turned the children against him the children are so disrespectful nobody speaks to him she will cook and she will not give him the food and she will be eating it in, in his present and she said that he must not use place to eat because the children cannot wash she cannot wash plates so she, he, 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 anytime he wants to he should be using plastic disposable plastic to eat i'm like wow when the man finished talking, I felt so sorry for him. I was like, wow. I said, it's like what people will say. That those who are looking for, don't find. Those who have, don't know what to do with it. It seems like a very genuine, calm, very easygoing person. All right? And this is what the family friend, I'm not just going by what he says. This is what the family friends also told me. That he's done everything to make this woman happy. She's the one that will attack him. She's the one that will fight him. In fact, on this last occasion, when he had to leave the house, when she called the police and he had to leave the wife, she was the one that attacked him. When the police came, he had bruises all over his body. She's the one that is basically hitting this man and beating him up. But he was the one that was arrested. Because, again, in this part of the world, you the man is always seen as the aggressor. The man is the more powerful. He's stronger. So she's always going to be the victim. But he said to me that when the police finished interviewing him and her separately, they could see that he she was he was the one that was being attacked. He was the one that you know sustained injuries. They had to take him to A &E, but they still arrested him. Now the, he's been told to leave the house. She's gotten a restraining order against him. He can't come to the house. He has no access to his children. He doesn't have access to his things. For him to even go and pick some things, the police has to escort him. Like, wow. Like, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? So, I mean, it even took him a, t a lot of time to open up. My point is, men go through things as well. Men go through things. And incidentally, it's the good ones that always end up with all these narcissist women. What is his offense? I was asking him, I said, what, what is the main thing that she complains about, about you? Uh, he said that, uh, she said that uh, when he goes to the barber, he doesn't bath uh, immediately. So he started bathing. He said that uh, the way he, dre she dre he dresses, uh, this, that, you know, just little, little things that are not so. I said, when he finished listing all the things, they are not, I can't see anything important. All I could see was that this woman never loved. She never loved him. She married him because he has a really good job and can keep up you know the lifestyle that she wanted so men go through a lot and men cannot speak up all fun times they cannot speak up i have another you know i know of another case where the man <laughs> in fact now he catch the wife they carry another man for the house the man the, the, the man catch the wife this one she's a jamaican woman she caught he caught her you know carry one another man in his house but he was one, she was the one that called the police. He was sent out of the house, banned from not going to the house, no contact with the children, nothing. And they are in court now, and the man is completely broken. So some men suffer too. 
they do. But the question is, what will it take for men to speak out? For men to get help, to say, okay, me too, I'm going through this. It's not only women that go through DV. Some women, you know, capitalize on, you know, the authority in this part of the world, the Western world, where the woman has a lot of rights and, you know, privileges, and they capitalize on it and actually use it against some good men. And that is not right. So, I mean, it's not going to be a long one. I'm just saying this to say that if you are in that position and you feel like you've done everything you can, you are a good person, you know you've given your best in that relationship, do not be ashamed to speak out. Do not say, oh, people will laugh at me. Oh, I'm a man. My ego. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nothing like ego. Everybody, they suffer. Everybody go through things in life. Please seek help. Even if you cannot speak out to uh, publicly, all this running after to go and tell pastors, sometimes it doesn't work because the first case that I told you about, they've exhausted all pastors, all zonal pastor, uh, divisional pastor, national pastor, all of them don't pray, they don't talk, it don't work. Sometimes for your own mental health, for your well-being, you need a professional, you need counseling, you need therapy because now, both of the cases that I spoke to you about, not the one of Justin, you know, the one of the, you know, the Nigerian men, they are outside the home now, fighting to even have access. Now they have to keep up paying the mortgages because the children are in the house for those houses and they cannot afford to rent another place because they are paying mortgage for your house. They say you have to keep up paying it. Your children are in the house and you cannot afford to rent and be paying. 6,000 pounds outgoing a month. You know, be more money with my people. You know, be more money. And for a house that the mortgage is always almost paid up, that's to tell you that it's not even the mortgage that is taking the bulk of the expenses. It's a lifestyle. So sometimes, eh, Brothers, when I want to marry, I'm going to check the mama of the woman when I want to marry. Mm. Sometimes, if they follow saying that the lifestyle where the mama gets, 90, 90, 90 daughter go get. Sometimes, some people, they change. They'll say, no, my mama lifestyle, I don't like it. I don't want to follow her full step. I want to change. Yoruba say, Some people do that. When you are born, you rebet yourself. That means, it's basically saying you, 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 you change you say, no, I don't want to follow this lifestyle. I want to do different. I want to do better. But some people, eh, na kabo copy of their mama. So, brothers, I feel sorry for these brothers. I wish there was something we could do. He needs legal advice on what to do in terms of how to, because it's obvious now the marriage is over. He wants to go for divorce, you know, and he's just broken. He's broken. He said, I gave everything. Everything I had to make this woman happy, to make this marriage work, but she was never into it. She was never in love with me. She, it's like I irritate her. She not allow. She will cook and no. I say, why can you cook and you not give your husband? The, even if you don't, things are. He's the father of your children. Women, I get mind though. Some of us, some of us, I might be like Pharaoh. You know, give her. No care why everything. If now woman they deny care, will go the shouts in emotional abuse, emotional abuse. If you deny man too, it's the same thing. Is the same thing. Hmm. We have more empathy towards women when things happen. But when men happen, they say, ah, man up, man up. Not be like that. So we all have feelings. So we have emotions. So let us do better. If you know better, you do better. Please, don't use the system to oppress anybody, whether male or female. Don't call police to remove somebody from the house, especially when you are the, the one that is even the one that... That is even the one that is the attacker. Now you, the, before they talk, you don't give them bass, boss. Scratch only body. Ah, now wow. It's not the best, my people. Anyway, it is well. May God help her help us. Relationship problem, eh? Not be today. Oh. Not be today. So I'm just gonna leave you here today. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh leave me your thoughts in the comment section. If you know of any man, we are very happy to support anybody. I always say it Obodo Yubo TV is not a gender-based platform. Okay. Anybody that needs help, advice, you need information, you know, come to us, talk to us, you know, and then we'll put it out there and get you help. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'm still rocking my hair from Bill Fox. If you love this hair and how it looks on me and you want to get yours, check my description under this video and go get yours. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to pop into the shop now. It looks like a summer day. Oh, my God. Rocking my ceiling glasses. Eh? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. I love you. Bye, guys. Bye.